Hello and welcome to the VBA Jetpack course by Trump Excel. I am your instructor Sumit Bansal and in this video I will give you a brief introduction to VBA. VBA stands for Visual Basic for Applications. This is a standard programming language for Microsoft Office applications such as Word and PowerPoint and you can use VBA to automate tasks within Excel or within other applications. You can also use VBA if you want these applications to talk to each other. So you can uh, extract a report from Excel and put it in PowerPoint or in Word or you can do a lot of automation within Excel. You can also use VBA to do a lot of stuff that you cannot do in Excel by itself. So you can create many new functions, you can use a lot of new functionalities which Excel does not provide in its basic form. Now, what all things can you do with it? You can automate a series of tasks, say for example you get a report from a database or you get many reports from colleagues and you have to collate these reports or you have to apply a certain formatting each and every time you get that report, then you can automate this task. You can write a code in the backend and with a single click or with a single shortcut, all these tasks can be done within a snap of a finger because you have automated it using VBA. You can also create custom functions that do not exist in Excel. Say, for example, if you want your VLOOKUP function to extract all the values that are occurring for a particular lookup value and put it in a single cell, then you can do that while you cannot do it with the VLOOKUP function that is provided within Excel. So you can create custom functions. You can create add-ins that can do a lot of work and you can also create applications. Now these applications are built using VBA, may not even look like a spreadsheet, but it's so powerful that you can create these applications and you can do a lot of stuff. Now I'll talk about the building blocks of VBA and in my view VBA is a very simple language. All you need to know is how these things come together to, to make this language and you need to know the syntax. So a couple of things that makes VBA are the sub or procedure. Now this is the place where you put your code and do not worry if you have not heard these words before. We will be talking about these in detail in subsequent videos of this course. So there is a sub or procedure which means that you write your code within within the sub. Then there are functions so you can use VBA functions or you can create custom functions. Then there are events where you can ask VBA to fire a code whenever an event happens. Say for example if you double click on a cell then you want something to happen. That's an event based VBA procedure. Then you also have objects which means that everything in Excel uh, is an object be it a chart, be it worksheet, be it, wor be it workbook and I'll talk about objects uh, more in this video and then there are variables and we'll have a separate video on variables but uh, just to introduce these terminologies to you these are certain VBA building blocks uh, that we will use continuously to build codes and to get the work done. Now let me talk about object oriented programming and VBA is one of the object oriented programming languages. If you have not heard this word before or this terminology before, uh, do not worry. Let me take a very very simple example to show what is object oriented programming. Let's say that I want to send a package to one of my favorite fictional characters Sherlock Holmes. So I have the name and I have the address. The house number is 221B Baker Street. The city is London and it's in England. Now if I have to deliver this package I would go to the postal service, the post office or maybe FedEx and I'll give them this package, pay the money and then these guys would look at the address and how they would work is they would put that package in a basket or in a lot that's going to England. So the first thing they identify is the country. Here the country would be United Kingdom. Once they have identified the country and once my package lands in the UK, the next thing to identify is where in UK. 
So now they identify the city which is London. So once the package reaches London, now I need to identify where within London I need to deliver it and that would be Baker Street. Now within Baker Street, it'll, I'm assuming it will be a huge street, there would be many houses, banks, museums, a lot of things. So if I have a package, it needs to be delivered to a particular address. So within Baker Street, I need to know the house number which would be 221B Baker Street. Now imagine I have that fictional house there and I enter this house be 221 Baker Street. I would have three people living in that house and if you know about Sherlock Holmes and the series you know that the three people would be Sherlock Holmes himself, Dr. Watson and the landlady Mrs. Hudson. But I have one package and that package is for Sherlock Holmes. So I would identify Sherlock Holmes and then I would give that package to Mr. Sherlock Holmes. And that my friend is object oriented programming in a nutshell for you. Now let's have a look at this example in terms of Excel. Let's say I have to apply red background color to a cell which is cell A1 in the worksheet which is sheet 1 in the workbook. The name of the workbook is test XLSX in the application which is Excel. So again I have the address and now I start looking from the broader level. So I would start with Excel. I would tell VBA that I need to do something within Excel and within Excel I need to jump into a workbook. The name of the workbook would be test.xlsx. So I need to use this workbook and I need to get into this workbook. Within this workbook I would have a worksheet the name would be sheet 1. So a worksheet can have many many different sheets but I particularly need to go to sheet 1 and within sheet 1 I need to go to the range A1 or the cell A1 and then when I am in cell A1 I need to change the color. So this is exactly how we looked at the address delivering a package to Sherlock Holmes. This is exactly the same thing. We start with Excel, we get into the workbook, there could be many workbooks, but we have a particular workbook where we need to run that code. In that workbook, we go to the worksheet. Within the worksheet, we go to the particular sheet or tab, and then we go to the cell and change the color. In a nutshell, this is object-oriented programming, which means that you need to know the address to change the color of an object you need to know how to qualify that object. That object is not there standalone standing somewhere in the universe. You need to know the exact address for that object and then when you have the address of the object you can do what you want. You can change the color, you can copy it, you can delete it but you need to qualify that object and that is object oriented programming. It's as simple as this. If you're still not very clear about object-oriented programming, do not worry. We will go through these things again when we are going through the lessons in the video course and we would see how it works. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.